guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, basically, this is going to be a, a quick video about a new motor I just picked up from uh, Innovative Designs um, website off the internet. And it's a Cobra uh, Racewing motor. It's a new series of motors they just came out with not too long ago. And they have it in three different KVs. They have it in 1800 KV, 2000 KV, and a 2300 KV motor. I picked up the 1800 KV motor because supposedly um, by the ratings that they have for this motor it can run a 7x6 prop on 4s uh, lipo pack um, i'm probably going to be doing some tests on it um, maybe even on 5s to see how it runs uh, but anyway it's roughly the same size as the grayson hobby's monster jet motor um, so you know the, the motor that i used on the ff aurora and also the new ff 23 v2 so it's roughly the same size but it's rated at quite a bit more power um, according to the stats that cobra has listed um, it, it's rated up to 1100 watts at 75 amps on a 4S LiPo pack. Um, they do have some prop uh, charts that give some loads. Uh, basically, I was thinking of running a 7x6 prop on 4S LiPo pack, and that's rated just under 1100 watts um, and with a prop speed of 100, 118 miles an hour. Um, let's see, with um, 78 ounces of thrust or over 2 kilograms of thrust. So that's quite a bit of power. Um, I think it'll, you know, run really good on some of these RC Foam Fighters planes. So basically I'm going to be testing the motor out just on the bench test today. And I think the first plane I'm going to put it on is probably the FF Aurora. Um, I think it'll probably wake it up and give it even more speed and definitely put it in the triple digits. Um, so basically today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing this motor out. Um, you probably need at least an 80 amp ESC with, you know, um, maybe 90 to 100 amp burst. And what I'd really recommend if you're going to run this is get either a BL Heli um, format ESC or the Simon K uh, format. Those ones supposedly can support higher RPMs on the high pole motors. Um, this is a high pole motor. It's got 14 magnet poles um, and 12 stator slots. So the more poles you have, it makes the ESCs work harder. And some of the regular ESCs, you know, when you start getting up around 30,000 RPMs, um, they can... You know start missing their sync with the motor and, and actually jack up your motor and the magnets and stuff like that so if you're going to run a motor like this this with the high poles i'd really recommend getting a simon k or bl heli esc and right now um you can look on ebay emacs has some out there i guess they discontinued them but there's still a bunch of them available on ebay um this one i picked up um it's the simon k series version um, but they do have the BL Heli ones, and you can get them for about $25 for an 80 amp ESC, and they have a burst rate of up to 100 amps. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be running, I'm going to try and run it on 4S with the recommended 7x6 prop that we just recovered. But I'm going to also try and run it on a 5S pack with a little bit smaller prop. It's going to be a 6.5 by 6.5 pylon racer prop. So let's run these motors, or those, these two props on these batteries and see what type of uh, outcome we'll get with this new motor. Okay guys, this is going to be the first test for this new motor that I got. Um, we're going to kind of go with what it's rated at by Cobra. I'm going to run a 4S pack, LiPo pack. This is a 2200 milliamp 70C rated battery. And I have the 7x6 prop. So let's do the run up test and see how it runs. Okay, can you see the numbers, Frank? Yep. Okay, it looks like uh, voltage dropped down about two volts. Um, 1,024 watts at only 67 amps. Yeah, so that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit lower than what they show on their chart, but I am probably running a smaller battery. Um, and this is a new battery, but it has to be cycled a couple times probably to get a little bit better. But that's still pretty impressive, um, you know, over 1,000 watts. So that is quite a bit more than what I'm running with the uh, Monster Jets. I think, I believe... We tested those roughly a little over 700 watts, so that's yeah, that you know quite a, a bit more, in the power and at a higher pitch because um, on the Monster Jet I was just running a six five or six by five point five prop, and so this is a seven by six prop. Yeah, I should give you a lot so, more thrust. So uh, what's next? Next up, we're going to run the five um, S battery uh, on a, a six five a six point five by six point five pylon racer prop. Cool. 
All right, guys, we're getting ready to test the uh, motor for the second time. Uh, I'm going to be using a 5S2200 milliamp 75C battery. And on the motor, now I have the 6.5 by 6.5 pylon racer prop. Um, it's not really recommended to run 5S, but I'm going to run it anyway, see how it runs. Um, as long as it's around, you know, 80-ish amps, I think it'll be all right. So yeah, let's run it up and see what that. happens. Okay, let's see what the numbers are. Can you see that with the camera, Frank? Yeah. Okay, it looks like pull the max of 83 amps. Uh, voltage drop down to 18 volts, so that's about two. And 1,544 watts. So that's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it's basically rated for 1,100 uh, continuous watts. So we're definitely running over what they show on the uh, rating page from Cobra. Um, but let's check it out and see how hot the motor is. Let me unplug it and see what it, if it feels hot or anything. Feels cold, cold to the touch. It didn't even get warm at all. That was a very short run. Um, ESC is cold also, so I think it'll probably run with that 5S battery. Um, yeah. So I have to do some calculations, see what it's running. But I think Frank. Yeah, I did a pre-calculation on it with the voltage in that to find out what the. Did you say it was close to 180 RPM miles an hour or something? Yeah, it was going to be running prop speed of about 180 miles an hour at that with so, a 5S. So. Sounds pretty impressive. Yeah, I want to see that, man. That'll be cool. Okay guys, we're all done running those two uh, motor tests with this uh, brand new motor I got. And it looks very impressive. I think I can get away with running it with the 5S pack. So I'm going to give that a try, see how long it runs. It didn't get hot um, when I was doing it on the test bench. Um, I did run a couple other tests after you know I ran the video and I ran it for longer and still you know, barely even got warm at all. So I think we'll be safe running it on 5S with that 6.5 by 6.5 prop. And that's going to be quite a bit of a boost. Um, I have some numbers written down from my old Monster Jet that I ran on the Aurora. So roughly with the uh, 2100 kV motor that I ran that time, I was running on a 4S and it was only pulling 859 watts. So with this 5S on this motor, that's almost double the wattage. So, you know, I think we should definitely pick up some speed with the Aurora. So stay tuned. I'm going to be building a new Aurora um, foam board plane. <laughs> we'll see if it can hold together. And, you know, see how much past 100 miles an hour we can push it with this new motor and prop setup. Okay, a third prop test. This is the APC. This is the regular electric prop. Man, that thing's flattening out. Dude. I don't like that at all, man. I don't like that one. No, I wouldn't that, use that. Damn, problem. 1200 watts. Yeah, because you're flattening Flat. out the blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a no-go, man. Yeah. <laughs>